Well, I do notice in this one that both your hands are free, and the camera is still zooming in and out, so I'm assuming you must have had a separate cameraman, which meant that somebody was an independent witness to this. I'm just kind of curious as to who was uh, running your camera for you, uh, Mind Freak. Um, oh, sorry, CJ, I was wondering as to who. Um, I also took a look at your, um, at your, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, um, I noticed that when, uh, I noticed that the, the hand moved, um, I noticed that, sorry, uh, I noticed that the side wheel moved to the opposite direction after you had moved your hand back to the left hand side, the side wheel turned to the right. So, um, I do find it interesting that, um, you know, apparently there might, you know, there might well be some sort of movement, uh, or, um, and I watched your debunk video as well, at the very least, um, you know, the thing of course is though is I would have liked it if you moved the can, uh, the candle around, but, I did notice that, you know, when you put the candle down and turned it on, at the very least the side wheel should have moved somewhat, you know, initially just drawing towards the candle and that would have been it. Like, you know, there should have been at least a single move in your debunk video. Um, so, you know, I am almost convinced that you might actually have a gen genuine telekinetic effect here. Um, still not quite sure what the cause is. Um, note that I said I'm almost convinced. Um, I know you said yourself you aren't, you don't, you're not going to make a claim it's telekinesis because you don't think there's any scientific evidence for it. Um, I'm still t I'm still taking the Robert Neville based approach uh, to it. That you know the same approach to this that Robert Neville took towards vampires. Um, you know, there's got to be a basis of explanation for it. But um, yeah, I will admit, for now you've had me stumped. Um, so keep up the good work, and uh, if you do figure out an explanation for this, let me know. And uh, for those of you who are thinking it's resorting to trickery, um, you know this guy has been responding to a whole bunch of uh, stuff pertaining to possible trickery. Um, in this particular case, this is the top, like I said, I, I happen to know this guy, so, you know, like, uh, he and I are both magicians on this one, and we can, we constantly double check each other's work, so yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that this one's not a, I'm pretty sure this one's not a genuine fraud. Um, you know, besides the fact that he also had an independent camera person watching this, um, you know, if anything, we should get that extra witness on board and f figure out who the heck that person is. Um, uh, but I am kind of curious as to who, um, yeah, Mind Freak, I am kind of curious as to who your um, camera person was. Um, you said you were going to try to get a credible witness there, so I'm assuming that the camera person is the credible witness, and if so, I'm wondering who they are, and uh, could we get them on cam and uh, get them to describe what they saw independently of what we saw of the film? Um, it would, you know, it would be interesting to get another um, second viewpoint in this besides just, you know, of course, what we're seeing from the videos and as well as your own commentary. So if we could find out who your camera person is and get some of their testimony in on this, um, you know, at least it might shed some light on the situation, if nothing else, um, you know, for possible causes, what have you. So, just a thought. Um, keep up the good work, though. Toodles.